So. Gundam Evolution's dead. Bandai announced that Gundam Evolution is ending service on November 29th, almost but not quite a year after the console launched. I personally didn't play it that much, but I do remember there being quite a few complaints about the game from North American players. Taking forever and a day to actually get it to more people outside Japan didn't really help either. At this point, I just think Bandai either has no confidence in Gundam being a hit in the West, or they're deliberately mishandling it, because they've done some dumbass shit with every single game on PS4. Battle Operation Next didn't leave Japan. Gundam Breaker 3 and G Generation Genesis got English subtitles but didn't make it out past Asia. Gundam Versus was kind of a miss, but that's what happens when you toss people Extreme Versus 2's beta instead of the game people actually wanted. Elix got pulled off Breaker to work on Black Clover, and New Gundam Breaker was so shit at launch because of that, that the Collector's Edition was selling for $10 on Amazon Japan at one point. Battle Operation 2 took a whole year to get a Western release, three years to get a dub, and five years to hit PC. Crossrays only got a Western release on PC, despite the PS4 and Switch versions having English subs. Maxi Boost On and Battle Alliance were digital only in the West, Code Fairy was digital only everywhere and didn't make it to PC like Battle Operation 2, and now this. What the fuck are you doing? It's like, whenever the topic of Gundam games in the West comes up, Bandai has the same perpetual look of shame on their faces that you'd see on a black man with no lineup when he makes eye contact with another nigga when he's out and about with his frumpy white wife. And it's honestly so stupid and disheartening that it makes me want to push Gundam games less. I just hope the seed game and whatever they have planned for the 40th anniversary aren't some bullshit, because it's, it's not looking good here. Uh -huh. 